Hey TAC Nation, welcome to the oil change video which I did promise you guys as part of my winter storage procedure. Um, this guide is for the FZ07 but you can use it for other models, the Hondas, all that stuff. They're pretty much all going to be the same. Uh, there are some exceptions out there so check your manual before you do anything. Um, so let's get this started. First you guys are going to need a few items before you begin. Specifically you're going to need a wrench or ratchet and socket of the appropriate size for your application. In this case, a 17 millimeter socket is what I'll be using for the FZ07. You'll need an oil filter wrench to remove the old oil filter. They tend to get a little stuck. You'll need an oil drain pan or a container to hold the old oil as you drain it out. A funnel will help you to refill the crankcase without causing a big mess. You'll need a replacement oil filter. Uh, you'll need some motor oil of the required type and amount. So check your manual for the exact manufacturer's requirements because not everybody's the same. Uh, but in this case for the F-07, I have three quarts or approximately three liters of Yamalube 10W40 motor oil. You'll also need a replacement oil plug crush washer. If you guys are so inclined, you can also purchase Yamaha oil change kits uh, that contain all the replacement parts, the oil filter, uh, crush washer, all that stuff that you need. I don't know if the other manufacturers sell these kind of things, but I know Yamaha does. So check with your Yamaha parts department uh, if you guys want to get something like that. Uh, for the safety Nazis out there, also make sure you have a pair of safety glasses and gloves. And it's also a good idea to invest in a rear stand to help keep your motorcycle in a safe and convenient position. It's also really handy when you're performing other maintenance and installation of aftermarket modifications because it holds the bike up for you, right? So first thing you want to do is you want to run the engine for a short period of time so the oil warms up and it flows easier. Now I'm going to emphasize that the oil should be warm and not hot so you don't burn your hands when you're draining it because you will get some on your fingers. First you want to do is once your engine is warmed up, place your motorcycle in the rear stand and position the drain pan under the drain plug and filter. Loosen but do not remove the engine oil filler cap so that air is allowed to enter the crankcase while uh, the oil is draining. Take your wrench or ratchet and loosen the oil drain plug located at the bottom portion of your oil pan. You want to finish removing the drain plug with your hand and allow the oil to begin draining into the pan. It gives you a bit more control if you use your fingers. When you remove the drain plug, inspect the end of it for little metal fragments. Uh, a lot of those have a magnetic end on them and any little metal fragments that are coming out of your engine, uh, they'll collect there so they don't go back in. If you see any metal fragments in your oil, and this is especially true if this isn't your first oil change. Your first oil change, you're likely going to see some as the engine breaks in. But if you see any after your second, third, fourth, whatever it is, contact your Yamaha service center because you may have some damage in your engine. Uh, next, you'll want to use your oil filter wrench to loosen the oil filter and slowly remove the filter by hand uh, as the oil will slowly begin to drain from the filter as you remove it. Uh, allow the oil from the filter to drain into the collection container as well. Don't want to leave a mess everywhere, guys. Now, while the oil filter is draining out, take a look at the metal surface around the oil filter mounting location. Ensure the area is clean and there's no filter material or dirt or, or any kind of grime or gunk stuck up in that area. It's going to help you promote a. Uh, it's going to help you promote a better seal on the oil filter area. Also make sure that the old oil ring has come off with the filter and hasn't remained stuck to the engine itself. So by now the oil should be gone from your crankcase. Ideally it should just be dripping out now. Uh, so what you want to do is take the old drain plug bolt and on the outside you're going to find a little crush washer. It looks like a little washer essentially. Pull that little washer off, replace it with a new one. Make sure that the flat side of the washer, if you take a good look at it, you'll see there's a round side and a flat side. Make sure that flat side sits against the plug head, okay? Push it all the way down and then install the drain plug back into the oil pan by hand. Use your wrench to tighten the drain plug, but make sure you don't over tighten it as this can damage the threads of the oil pan itself and cause a leak. Uh, you'll want to tighten that down uh, until the crush washer goes flat and you also want to tighten it down to the torque specification uh, for your manual. The one in the uh, FZ07 manual is a little bit high in my opinion. Uh, so this is one of those cases of uh, don't do as I do. Uh, I just simply crush, let the washer crush and that's good enough for me as long as it's tight. Um, I don't want to risk stripping those threads. Next we're going to install the replacement oil filter. Now what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of motor oil to the inside of the filter 
and then kind of rotate the filter around and let the filter element soak up some of that oil. Um, you'll also want to apply a small amount of new motor oil on the rubber o-ring before you screw the filter into place. Now I haven't done it in this case because the Yamaha filters come with some uh, grease around the outside of the filter ring itself so it's already pre-oiled I guess is the word for it. Um, when you put the oil filter back into place again make sure you do not over tighten this. Uh, just use your hand and, and push crank it down with your hand as best you can but again do not over tighten this as you may damage the oil filter and cause damage or even a leak. So now that we have the oil drain plug and the oil filter back into place, uh, I want you guys to take a look on the FZ07, it's on the left hand side of the bike just below the crankcase, you're going to see a little spyglass window. Uh, it looks like there's a, a little metal star thing on the inside. That is where you check for your oil fill level and you make a note of the two lines, there's a line on the bottom and a line on the top and those two lines indicate your low and high level. Remove the engine oil filter cap and use a funnel to begin to refill the engine's crankcase with fresh motor oil. And while you're doing this, you want to watch the level on the spyglass. The motorcycle should be standing vertically, not on its kickstand for this portion. This is where the rear stand comes in handy. Uh, and fill the oil until the level is between the low and high level markings. Now, on the FZ07, I used two full bottles or two quarts. I dumped the whole thing in. I still hadn't seen the level come up. Uh, on the third quart, I started to see the level fill up. So what I do is I fill it up until it's between the low and high level markings and then I screw on the oil filter cap. Check for any signs of a leak. If you have none, then it's okay to start the engine and allow it to run for one to two minutes. During this time, the oil filter will be filled with oil, lowering the amount of oil in the crankcase. While it's running, again, check for leaks. Then if you're satisfied there are no leaks, turn the motorcycle off. Again, remove the engine oil filler cap, and while you're watching through the spyglass, fill the crankcase up until the oil level once again reaches between the low and high fill lines. Screw the engine oil filler cap back on, check for any signs of leaking oil. If you have no leaks, then you're now finished. Ensure you dispose of the old oil and filter in an environmentally friendly manner, and after a short ride, retract the drain plug and oil filter for any signs of leaks. If you have any questions, please feel free to post in the comments section below or contact your local service center for clarification. Enjoy and ride safe. TACMOTO out.